Palch. This is a restricted area. I haven't seen you around Zion before. Identify yourself. Wait. I'm an airborne squad member from the colony. Huh. So you're an angel. What brings you here? Looking for a tour? I was curious about the song coming from inside. I heard the Prophet gave you permission to enter the city, but that doesn't mean you can go around as you please. Of course, those who've lived in the comfort of the colony don't know anything. I don't mean any harm. I apologize if I've caused you trouble. Anya, you, you okay? time when this bar used to be full of people. Now it's just so empty. Empty and dark. And Enya, same story. I wonder how long she can keep singing with her body in the state it's in. Huh. I don't even know why I'm talking about this. It's pointless. I'm trying to be sensitive, but if you need help, we might be able to fix her. After all, we do have engineering support from the Airborne Squad. What? Is that so? But I... I have no way to repay you. No, I don't need anything. I don't need any kind of incentive to save someone. All right. In that case, could you help me? Lily, I have to ask you something. I found someone who's been injured very badly. She's too weak to speak, and there's no chance of her moving. The technology here won't do. Do you think you might be able to help somehow? Well, yes. But do you really think this is a good time? The people here, they have negative feelings towards the colony. Many of them think they were abandoned. I want them to see that our mission isn't just for the sake of appearances. Our mission is to save mankind. Ah, yep. Typical Eve. <laughs> I can give it a try, but I can't guarantee a complete recovery. Also, there's a lot I'll need to prepare. I understand. Just tell me what you need. I'll send over the list. And please try not to spend too much time on this. After all, we still have a mission to complete. I know. Thank you. Lily, preparations are complete. All right then, we're good to go. Would you mind bringing the patient here while I prepare for the process? I'll bring her right now. I did everything I could. It's not perfect, but the patient should be in much better shape now. Sue, are you there? I... I can feel you. Enya, are you alright? Enya! Yes, your hands. They're very warm. It's been so long. Enya. Eve. It's starting to come back to me. You helped me. I would like to repay your kindness, but I don't have anything to offer. The only thing I can do is sing. Your song is more than enough. Also, you should be thanking Lily, not me. She's the one who really saved you. <laughs> Enya, what is it? Eve. What's wrong? You're not singing like usual. Well, the thing is, it's Sue. He hasn't come here recently. I've also heard that he's seeing someone else. 
Do you... do you think he will abandon me? I don't think Sue would do a thing like that. Please, don't worry. This might just be a misunderstanding. Where exactly did you hear this? I heard it from Bo, one of Sue's colleagues. Eve, I'm sorry to bother you with this, but I can't leave here because of my legs. Can you ask around for me and maybe find out what's going on? Okay, just hang on. There's no reason to be so anxious. Thank you very much. Who, who is it? Oh, there he is. Sue, it's me. How are you? A Angel, how? Well, I guess you've already figured everything out if you manage to find me here. As you can see, I let my guard down. I'm lucky to be alive, but I couldn't fight after my right arm was injured. All I could do was run and hide here. I barely made it, but I managed to get the parts for Enya's legs. Though it was pointless. I wasn't strong enough to get back. What possessed you to do something so dangerous? And without even telling Enya? Well, I... I wasn't able to do anything for Enya. If it wasn't for you, I... I would have... I would... Uh, stop talking like that! <sighs> Let's go back. Right now. Enya needs you. Uh, Eve. Eve. What... What happened to Sue? Nothing bad happened to him, right? Uh, no. Don't worry. He was out on a ridiculous expedition. Searching for some rare equipment that would help you walk. What? Then things took a turn for the worse, and he found himself trapped in the wasteland. Sue, won't you come in? Do you want to tell her the rest? to walk? W well Of course I do. But... Uh, well... Walking is meaningless if it means losing you. Enya, I'm sorry. I felt so useless just waiting around, watching. I wanted to help. I just... I just wanted to see you walk again. That's all. Really. I'm sorry. Never do that again. I mean it. Never again. Enya, seeing you stand and walk like this, I just... it's good to see. So, just what is it that brings you two here? I have a request for you. At one point, a small drone came to the bar. A drone? Oh, do you mean Digger? The drone heard Enya singing, said it recognized the song, then just left. I've done everything I can, but I can't seem to find that drone. Eve, I'm sorry to bother you with this. If it has something to do with my lost memories, do you think you can get more details from the drone? Well, Digger should be in Zion. It shouldn't be too difficult to find out. Oh, thank goodness. I'll let you know the second I hear anything. In the meantime, you should head back. Best to stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, always. Digger, you were the one who spoke with Enya, right? 
Yes, artistic activities are truly amazing. It was my first time hearing a song. I feel like my understanding of human culture has improved considerably. I heard you know something about the song. I would like you to tell me more about it. Yes, Eve. You're a very special guest, so I'll tell you. The information actually has to do with Enya's song. I traveled through many different regions before settling at the Scrap Plains. I collected 149 petabytes of data during my journey. When in Zion, I discovered there was a person there who sang a song that matched previously recorded voice data in my audio archive. Different singers can sing the same song. No. The data similarity is so high that it leads me to believe it's the vocalization of the same person. I acquired this data from a location called the Opera House. It is now known as the Buried Ruins. Now I've told you everything I told Annie. All right. It's all starting to make sense, I think. Thank you, Digger. I'm glad to be of service. Please drop by again. Eve, how did everything go? Well, I found important information, thanks to Digger. It's about you. About your life before. It might just be speculation, but I think it's safe to assume Digger is right. I also found out the title of your song. I'm listening. You used to be an artist, in a broader collection of artists. But this was the most important clue. You were featured in a piece titled Madama Machine. The song you sang in it closely resembles the song you sing now. The song's title is Beyond Fate. Beyond Fate? Is that so? Yes, though that's only part of the whole picture. It's okay. This is enough. Are you... are you sure about that? I still have more to share. Mm. Beyond fate. My past self could be urging me with those very same words. To try and make peace with the past I've lost, and accept what I have now. <sighs> it seems as if my obsession has troubled many people. But now, I have someone looking out for me. Isn't that all that really matters? Well, I suppose you're right. Eve, thank you. You've done so much for us. All right, take this data. What is stored there will help you fully restore beyond fate. Okay, thank you, Eve. If I may, could I maybe ask you to sing that song for me now? Oh, I'd be happy to. Oh, boy. 